Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use this curve to bricks, uh, which you can download for free from our website. Uh, as you can see here, you can just give a curve as an input. So uh, it can be any closed or open curve or a polyline. So if I just draw a circle and give it to the curve, uh, the algorithm is going to actually test if it's closed and open and then just uh, make the bricks. Uh, also, what we have here is the length, width, and height of the bricks. So if I put this to 30 and go and take a look at it from the top. So if I just draw a line from here to here, uh, you can see that this number is near 30. So this is exactly what we want. We're going to also define a gap which is if we put it zero it's going to intersect obviously so we have to have a gap so they don't intersect uh, we can also control a gap z which is going to be the gaps between the rows and uh, i've added an additional angle one and angle two which is for the layer one and two this is really important because uh, if you have an open curve for example and uh, the second layer is going to have a half brick at the end uh, to make it stable. So here you can see that we have a control over uh, layer one and layer two. So you can also make uh, more complicated uh, bricks from this or even elements uh, or boxes. And also there is a row, which is a simple array at the end of the algorithm. Uh, finally, you can have the bricks which are boxes so if you just connect a box and bake it you can uh, have them in rhino and use them in your project so basically this uh, free curve to bricks cluster is going to help you to convert a curve into a series of uh, bricks or blocks uh, what i think is really practical is closed because if you close a curve for example circle maybe you want to make um a series of parts sit on each other and if I just increase the length here and just make this a little bit bigger and also uh, increase or decrease the height so for example if I just give this see that this can also be a structure maybe you want to put these boxes on together and uh, fabricate them so i think that this is also useful if you want to uh, maybe play around with that you can just use the box because there are lots of tools in grasshopper for example surface analyzes deconstruct a box and uh, use it in your project because this is going to help you to extract the plane which is really useful if you want to use those planes uh, to maybe make a new box you can go to the surface uh, primitive and make a domain box with these planes so remember that you can use that uh, those planes maybe for another project uh, anyway this uh, simple curve uh, to bricks I'm going to put this to also zero uh, sorry for the rotations both of them to zero uh, so you can see it here it's really useful especially if you increase the gaps I think that I have to give more gaps because the length are really high and you can see that we can make that happen okay just decrease the length if you want better results decrease the gaps and you can reach uh, any output uh, you can download this from our website if you have any questions just ask below and thanks for watching see you next time bye